Okay, it's one of those weeks. Um, I'm Black Bright and I normally talk about stuff that is quite disturbing. I'm not an authority on any other subjects I talk about. I just think, you know, sometimes I'm just, I'm not really venting, but I'm just trying to, in talking to you who are listening, I just try to get some kind of understanding myself because I just don't understand certain things. Um, now we've heard about um, this situation where people who are citizens can have their citizenship taken away. Um, I remember reading somewhere, I wish I'd taken down the source, I think it was the UN Constitution, where it said only white people can be citizens. Now something's gone around that has you know, more or less proven that this to be the case. And I was saying this all the time. I've been saying, you know, all these laws about freedom of speech, freedom of expression, it doesn't apply to black people. I was saying it when I was talking about Serena Williams. I was saying it when I was talking about Colin Kaepernick, because I noticed that any time a black person speaks up or tries to assert their rights, it mayhem they are treated with such disdain so i knew i didn't know what it was at the time but i'm quite instinctive but i knew there was something anyway of course it's all come out into the open now that black people are not citizens of any western country so they're starting off with america thank you God, um, England at the moment, they won't make anybody stateless, so they're not likely to take away our citizenship. But the fact of the matter is there is probably something going on because whatever America does, UK is quite close behind. But it's quite an interesting phenomenon, really, because when you think of it, um, to take somebody who's born in the country Forget about their parents for a minute. Their parents, if their parents have been there for years and years and years, and then to take that child, and they could be black, they could be Mexican, they can be Latin America, they can be anything. But to take that child who's not black, no, who is black, and tell them that they've got to leave, where do they go? It's fine, you know, people are all saying, go back to where you come from, but they forget. They took us from where we came from over 400 years ago. So there is no place to go back to. We can't say Africa's our home. What have we got in common with Africa, even though, you know, it's large enough to accommodate a lot of black people. But most black people, I mean, they do have parts of Africa where I know a lot of my English friends have gone to live so it's not impossible but it would be very difficult to adjust especially at short notice and especially if you weren't planning to go to places like Africa or the West Indies and the thing is somebody like me who's born here Jamaica isn't going to take me on why would they they're not going to look at me as Jamaican just because my mum's Jamaican you know and so I'm thinking about all those people in America who have set up all their homes, who, who felt up until this point quite comfortable. And they were thinking about all the people who are residents and thinking to themselves, oh yeah, I've got my green card, I'm okay. I've got my residency, I'm okay. I've got my citizenship, I'm okay. Oh, and Trump's pulled the rug from underneath their feet. They're not okay. Anyway, got this video to show you. I'm not showing you the whole video, it's too long, but I'm going to show you the crux of it and it shows you where you can find, if you are black in America, watching this video, it is going to show you where you can actually find um, the fact that if you're not white, you're not a citizen of the Western world. Interesting. This is what I'm going to need every single solitary last black person on this planet to do. Well, United States anyway. Go to thelaw.com. You see this? Go to your app. Go to the app store. Go to the law.com. 
scroll down to where it says citizen. Okay, let's get to the to the C's. A B C C I T I. Let's see. Okay, I went too a little bit too far. Scroll down to citizen. C I citizen. Click on citizen and read that. This is their law, guys. Okay. Citizens are either native, born, or naturalized. Native citizens may fill office, any office. Naturalized citizens may be elected or appointed to any office under the Constitution of the United States. Okay? All natives are not citizens, though, of the United States. Okay? The descendants of the aborigines, for those of you that claim, I'm not no African, my people didn't come here on ship, I'm an aboriginal. Guess what? Y'all ain't citizens neither. And those of African origin are not ent ent uh, entitled to the, citizen the rights of citizens. That's those of us whose ancestors came here on ships. Anterior to the adoption of the Constitution of the United States, each state had the right to make citizens of such persons as it pleased. But the Constitution does not authorize any but white persons to become citizens of the United States. And it must therefore be presumed that no one is a citizen who is not white. A citizen of the United States residing in any state of the Union is a citizen of that state. So white people can come from anywhere. They can come from another country and, and come to the United States of America and they're considered a citizen. But you being born in, in the United States of America, you people of color, including you Mexicans, you Hispanics, who think you're better, who think you're just like the white people, um, and that you're equal to them, no, you're not. You're just a piece of crap like they look at us. That's black people. You're just a piece of trash. Okay? They don't like us. They never have. They never will. And we're not even citizens. So that's what's getting them off when they kill us and they're not convicted. Okay? But it's in the Bible. Wake up. Spread this message. I want. So. I don't know. I hope you can find that information. Like I said, you know, I'm not American, so I probably don't have access to that kind of information. But it is good to be aware because a lot of people are too comfortable. They're comfortable thinking to themselves, yeah, well, I'm all right, Jack. I'm OK. You're not. You're not OK. And you better start making alternative plans or at least have a backup plan or do something. I think we all need a backup plan, but I'm not quite sure what that back backup plan can be or how we're going to do it because already it's almost like you know with these biometrics with the restricting people from traveling from you know taking dual passports away um taking away and that's the thing they made people give up their um their sit the citizenship of their country because they said in a lot of cases you can't have two passports you can't have like a jamaican British, you can't have a British Jamaican passport or Guyanese Jamaican, Guyanese British or whatever. You had to surrender your the country of your origin. You had to surrender that passport in order to get a British passport. So not only have they taken away the possibility of you having a passport or a citizenship of the country you were born in for those uh, who came uh, um, a lot afterwards, who came in the 80s or whatever. They've taken away that privilege. So you've got no passport to go back to. And goodness knows how much it's going to cost for you to get another passport. And all the paper, the paraphernalia. And they could even say, like the English, if you've been out of the country for you know more than two years, we don't want to know. You have to reapply. And how much is that going to cost? So I don't know what their game is. Why would you create that kind of disarray? Okay, it's fine. Okay, you saying okay, we you can be a, um, a citizenship of our country, but you should have at least allowed them to retain their passports of the country where they were born. You don't tell them to surrender their passports and then years later say, oh well, you're not a citizenship of this country. You've got to go back to where you come from, and you've taken away their passports, the proof that they were ever even born there. I tell you, um. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. Something's amiss. Um, 
all I'm saying is don't be too complacent peeps just be aware clue yourself up see what you can do I'm not quite sure what you can do in America I don't know because I don't know how I'd imagine it can't be a quick process I'm hoping that most of us are dead by that time and our poor little children they're the ones who are going to have to face the wrath but you never know you don't know how quickly they're going to turn these things around and if all fails and they don't think they can get rid of us quick enough they might just start a war what better way to just get kill, kill people than to start a war and you know have a legitimate reason um, for killing people yeah I think the country's put got themselves in a little mess I think that they believe I really think that they believe that if there's only white people they'll be happy and everything will be hunky-dory it's funny because I remember um, yeah it's a it's a strange parallel but you know if you watch Big Brother House if any of you watch those um, reality programs where they have to vote people out and they usually vote out the people who's the most annoying and when they vote that person out they're bored they don't know what to do with themselves they're kind of stuck in this thing and they're looking at each other and then they start fighting amongst them, themselves because they the person who was creating the problem is now gone so they've only got themselves so they have that inner inner fighting I think that's what's going to happen I think somehow in some mysterious way black people will return to their countries of origin and and white people will be where they are but they're not going to be happy and you know what's going to happen they're going to still want to invade where we are they're still going to want to be where we are because there's something about us that they want to be a part of or they don't want to leave us totally alone to our own devices I don't know what they think we're going to get up to but anyway I'm just putting it out there peeps what can I do I'm one lone person in a big wide world can't do squat Ciao for now.